Greetings, my name is Thurden and I really don't know how to start this video, so uh, I, I hope you're ready to Genshin some impacts today. So about 9 bazillion years ago, Mondstadt was probably not a thing yet. About 2600 years ago, Mondstadt was actually a thing yet. But it was a giant frozen landscape. Humans couldn't really live there because cold is bad for humans. And when they get too cold, they die. Science! Well, everything was frozen and therefore bad. Except for this teensy tiny little corner right here. It was ruled by some guy named Dekarabian, who was also bad, but less so than freezing to death, so the people put up with him. Well, some people did. Because one day some young go-getter from the Gunhilder clan, they won't be important later on, don't decided that they were done with listening to your rules, that, and it leave to do their own thing in the frozen wastes of death outside. So they left, and it went horribly. Because as I might have to remind you, cold, bad. Therefore humans die when too cold. And so in order to save them from the horrible fate they put upon themselves, they prayed to the gods. Of which there are a crap load. Let's hope nothing bad happens, like a war or something that kills the majority of them. And they actually answered. Sort of. In response to these people's desperate prayers, there manifested a crappy little wind sprite called Barbados. Who then proceeded to make a small pocket of land, not cold and horrible. Nice going, Barbados. But in a way, Barbados looked at Dekarabian and how he was ruling his pocket of not shitty land and thought it was quote, a bit cringe. So he joined some random people, apparently calling themselves the Gunhilder or something. I don't know, there's not a lot about these guys. And together formed a brilliant team of freedom fighters consisting of the Caribbean's ex, a bard who was best buds with Barbados and was going to marry that girl they liked after this war, some random knights, the Gunhildar, I don't know who they are, but they're a thing that exists apparently, and some random unrelated red-haired kid who was really good at fighting. And with their powers combined, they kicked the Donglis out of the Caribbean and liberated his little pocket of not shittiness. Hooray! But the Bart was best buds with Barbados got stabbed and died. Oh no! But Barbados decided to honor his friend by changing himself to look like him and effectively steal his identity. Oh, mm, yeah? Moving on. However, they still ran into the issue of the other land still being horrible and crappy. Oh wait, no it isn't anymore, because they asked the god of said cold and shittiness if he was cool, which is like not doing that. And he said he was pretty chill with that, and then he just sort of died. <laughs> Bit weird, but now the land wasn't cold and shitty anymore, but actually became warm and nice. Mannstadt grew and everyone was happy. So with the reassurance that everyone would keep being happy forever and all things would be good, Barbados just kind of peaced out and left. But oh no, things didn't stay happy and good forever because some rich dicks called the Lawrence clan decided to take over and do very many bad things like slavery and the oppressions. And no, I completely assure you it's absolutely essential that we have our female gladiators be basically naked, trust me, it's for the good of the uh, plot. So with all of this happening, Barbados felt his cringe detectors go off once again and decided to step in and bless this random gladiator slash slave lady called Vanessa with crazy good magic wind powers and help her overthrow the Lawrence clan and free Mondstadt. By which I mean let her do all the work while he pissed off elsewhere. Which she did. But she also didn't destroy them and allowed them to keep living in opulence and wealth, but I don't know, I'm not a super powered demigod with apps like a cheese crater, so what do I know? And if she didn't want any more gosh darn tyrants taking over and quote doing cringe in Mondstadt. She founded the Knights of Aphonius and became its first Grand Master. And after all this nonsense, Mondstadt would never again have a real functioning government in charge because it's the nation of freedom. I mean, except for the Knights of Aphonius, the military of which Vanessa just put herself in charge of. Sounds a bit less like a liberation and more like usurpation, but I'm sure that's fine. Nothing bad ever happened with the military being in charge of a country, right? Skip forward another trazillion years and Vanessa decided to follow in Barbados' footsteps, aka noping out of there and she just kind of disappeared. But unlike last time, some dickish tyrant hadn't taken over yet. And everyone is still happy and having a good time. Well, that is until one of Barbados' BFFs, a title with a dubious track record, who was also a giant fuck huge dragon called Dvalin, got into a scrap with another big fuck huge dragon called Durin. Dvalin kicked the Donglis out of Durin, but in doing so was infected with the cringe by Durin. And because and causing a bit of a fuss all over Mondstadt. Unfortunately for Dvalin, this was also around the time where some random nobody dipshit washes up in Mondstadt called Eater. But that's a boring name, so let's call him something cool and masculine like Steve Wankjobs. Steve is actually looking for his sister, but immediately feels his protagonist's senses tingling and decides he's going to stomp Dvalin's big stupid face in instead. Oh, and he also just sort of meets Barbados, who now goes by the name of Fenty, and in true deadbeat fashion just hangs around the bar all day getting drunk of his arse. Together, oh, and there are some other people there too, but nobody cares about them. They managed to style on Dvalin so hard he almost dies. But just before Steve was going to be allowed to call himself Dragonfucker, Venti steps in and is all like, No, wait, you can't do that. Easy stop. He's just like corrupted by the cringe and stuff. I can fix him. Which he then just sort of 
does. So the Valin is now no longer cringe, but 100% keck and based. And he's a good guy now, so don't worry about the countless people he probably murdered. It's cool, don't worry about it. Things are good now. Mondstadt is happy again. There's a rainbow. Everything is good. Where the fuck is my city?